Dan here with Battlefield Curator. Grant with Milsurp Lifestyle on Instagram. We are at, where are we at, Grant? We're at the CMP South Store. CMP South Store in Anniston, Alabama. There's the grand guy. The Civilian Marksmanship Program is a nonprofit organization that sells U.S. military rifles as well as other military surplus. In previous years I've been there, they've had an outstanding assortment of M1 Garands. In our recent trip to the CMP store, only a few M1 Garands really stood out. The others were okay. But this time around, what really caught my eye were the M1903s. If you're planning to take a trip there, I recommend you look at the CMP forums and figure out what they have in stock at the time. Anytime you go to the CMP store, you just never know what you're gonna find. All right. Grant, what did we pick up here? We picked up, so I picked up a 1917 Eddie Stone, a World War I dated leather sling, and then a 1903, that's a Springfield, in the original stock, so you see it has the straight grip, has the hump up here, and then you grabbed a 1903, you wanna walk folks through it? Yeah, so this 1903 is uh, got a pretty good barrel reading there and muzzle, it's got muzzle and throat reading that's uh, zero and one is really good so and really crisp lands and grooves 1942 dated barrel on there it's got the drilled out hole here on the receiver and it's got the pock marks on the butt plate that is what the marine armorers did to these m1903s during world war ii when they uh, went through the marine arsenals notice that there's some green plastic bags just don't pay attention to those what it those is those came with the rifle <laughs> these yeah. are this is what the cmp gives you now they don't give you the hard cases except for your first purchase of the year if it's an m1 grand you do still get the nice cases but for all the bolt guns they now just give you that hard plastic uh kind of to wrap it in oh we also got 400 uh or actually 200 rounds of 200 400 400 rounds of 30 out six in here it was yeah. 392 for 400 rounds um and then i also got an original waterproof webbing, um, style webbing sling. I think the CMP is selling these. I think it was 25 bucks. Uh, we'll open it up and see what it looks like inside. Um, so All right. Let's see in here. Uh, I don't even know where the wrapping begins. Oh, here it is. So unwrapping. That's wrapped pretty good. Man, it just... You know, they just look like turd nuggets sitting over there on the shelf. I, 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 I had no idea what those were. But then I... Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Not a bad sling. And on the topic of slings, uh, they do have leather slings, different dates on them. This is a World War One dated one for 100 bucks. As they... World War II or, or you know, as they got... Uh, as they're newer, they're a little cheaper. I think this was the most expensive one was a World War One dated, so... Nice. Lots of things at the CMP. Yeah. Pretty good leather too for being World War One. Yeah, no kidding. That's why I had yeah. to grab it. Yeah, not bad. It'll go great on this. Yes. For the 1917, this was offered at a thousand dollars. Muzzle reading of one, throat reading of three. The 1903 uh, is uh, two and two for muzzle and throat reading, and that was, I think, a deal at seven hundred dollars. And then the zero and one 1903 was eight thirty. So yeah. that's kind of the prices we're seeing. I think the store had a, they had quite a few more 1903s in there. Um, they had a lot of 1917s. Some of them were in the white painted stocks. A couple of them, one was in a black stock and it was chromed out. So more of the drill purpose kind of rifles. They were pretty, that was a pretty good selection though. Hopefully the, that, you know, the surplus doesn't dry up and that kind of selection sticks around. We're going to take this 1903, try to qualify and get, we need how many in the black? Three. Three in the black, right? In a row. We need three in the black in yep. a row. Three in a row. One in the black. Black. All right, so this one's a uh, World War, post World War One. Yeah, she shoots. Oh, okay, look at you. On paper. You're on paper, yeah. Wasp likes it. Yeah? Yeah. 
He, he likes us. He's hanging around us. He actually likes you. He's, he's hanging around you more. Yeah, he's... He's all over you, man. Dude, this, this wasp really likes you. It's a yellow jacket. It's a yellow jacket. You watch out. Don't move your shoulder too much. He's like right there. He's right. He's under your armpit. Yeah, brush him off. He's, he's like right here. Brush him off. No, he's not there. He's right there. Oh. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Jeez, he came back again. Yeah, I feel him. He's like on your our shoulder now. This is throwing me off. <laughs> If I don't qualify for 600 because of this, this <laughs> yellow jacket. Dang it, yellow jacket. That's the third, third shot there. Oh, the third one dropped on me. That's all right. We're going to do 200 yards first, and then we're going to 300, and then 600. We're kind of uh, pressed for time, so we're going to turn this play and see what happens. We are running up against the schedule, unfortunately, but Dan will be shooting. I will not, as I was disqualified by uh, Yellow Jacket. Alright Dan, going for three. There you go. There you go. The Talladega range is uh, really nice. It's well well put together. If you buy a gun, if you buy a gun from the CMP, you get a, a two hour range pass, but it's really reasonably priced if you wanted to do a full day, it's twenty five bucks. They got electronic um, targets so that you don't need to call the range hot or cold. It's uh, it's a really beautiful facility. Highly recommend checking it out after you're done at the CMP. If you come here and you need to go to the range and you got multiple rifles that you got or you brought some rifles, make sure you bring a case. It makes things a lot easier instead of having to carry them around in a plastic bag. Uh, other than that, you know, the CMP is a civilian marksmanship program. They do a pretty good job of providing these services and providing these rifles at a cheaper than market value. So I definitely recommend if you have a chance to come here and pick one out or you get one online, uh, you do that and get them while you still can. With that being said, pulverize the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, be sure to learn history and curate history. Make it a great day.